What is going on guys? It is your boy Jason Love coming at you with another video about non-CDL and CDL Hotshot. And this video is mostly just going to be about non-CDL Hotshot. I'm going to be looking at something that is pretty important. I've had a couple questions about it and it's talking about the drug and alcohol clearing house and if non-CDLs uh, drivers and owner operators and the business in general just need to be part of the drug and alcohol clearing house so i am um, i'm going to switch over to the view of my laptop to kind of help you guys understand this uh this subject a little bit more i want to say thank you to everybody subscribe i think we're sending about 443 subscribers we are really close to the 500 so if you like this video please subscribe we're doing a 500 subscriber giveaway probably right after christmas um and give something away that's super awesome. Also, if you guys know a family in need um, or if somebody who's not going to have gifts this Christmas, please let me know. I'm going to be giving away a couple hundred dollar gift cards to those families so they'll be able to get some Christmas gifts because no kid should not open. How's I going to say? Every kid should have some presents to open on Christmas. And that's the truth, boys. So, yeah, if you guys need any help, <clears throat> please let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's get to the video. Okay guys, so here I am at the transportation.gov. It's basically the US Department of Transportation, you know, DOT. I got here through the FMCSA website, looking into the drug and alcohol testing, basically the drug and alcohol clearinghouse, the, the other word for it that I don't really remember. But there's a big question if us as non-CDL hotshot owner operators, drivers have to be a part of, you know, the drug and alcohol clearinghouse. So let's just go over basically this part. It says, am I covered? Um, and it talks about who needs to be a part of this and who doesn't. So it says many employees and employers have asked, how do I know if I'm subject to the U.S. Department of Transportation drug and alcohol testing regulations? To answer this question, we have developed the following decision tree to assist you in determining if you are covered or not. The decision tree is only a guide and does not replace or supersede the actual regulations. The decision tree begins by answering simple questions. We are employers. Continue. In what form of transportation do you think you work? Uh, we do trucking, school bus, tour bus. We do trucking, so bam. Do you <coughs> or your employees hold a commercial driver's license or similar license in both Mexico, Canada, and operate a commercial vehicle in any state? So if your CDL hotshot is different. So non-CDL, no, we don't. A CMV is defined as a vehicle with a gross vehicle weight rating, gross vehicle weight, or gross combination weight rating, gross combination weight of 26,001 or more pounds, or is designed to carry 16 or more passengers, or of any size that is used to transport hazardous material required the vehicle to be placarded. So the answer to those for a non-CDL hotshot that does not do hazardous material is no. It says you are not subject to the drug and alcohol testing under FMCSA regulations. So yeah, that's pretty easy. <laughs> so if you guys have this question, um, straight up, that's basically pretty easy. It basically told me what, what I needed to know pretty quick. So um, if you guys have any questions about that, I mean, there it is. Uh, as you can tell, we are not... Um, we are not required to be part of the drug and alcohol testing by the DOT. Um, and so, yeah, that's one more one more bump for being a non-CDL hotshot, I guess. So thanks, guys, for watching the video. 